You are in charge of bringing the dessert, but you forgot. You can't just go buy something from the store because ew, but you don't have a lot of time. You need something that's delicious and you also need something that people are like, dang, Gina. Let's show you how. Hey y'all, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larissa and today we're gonna show you how to make a super simple, super versatile, vegan, no-bake chocolate pie. We'll go through some variations and substitutions for how you can make this even more over the top, but we know you don't have a lot of time, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a vegan graham cracker crust. You can completely buy a store-bought crust if you wanna make this go even faster. And we will link below a version of our homemade vegan graham crackers or a vegan uh, store-bought one that you can easily find. Another variation of this would be to swap the graham crackers for Oreos or vegan vanilla wafers or even crunchy vegan cookies instead for your base. All right, so you're going to pour those crumbs into a pie dish and then follow that up with some brown sugar. Mix these two things together so that your brown sugar is evenly distributed among your breadcrumbs. And then you're gonna add in your melted vegan butter and then push that down with the back of a spoon until well combined and pressed along all the bottom and the sides of your pie dish. What you're looking for here is that all of your graham cracker crumbs are moistened before you start pushing it down onto the bottom and up the sides of your pie pan. And then we're just gonna put this in the fridge while we make our filling. Now for our chocolate pie filling, we are going to make this as foolproof as possible. Everything is going to go into your blender. Start by adding some silken tofu, then some raw cashews, any dairy-free milk of your choice, some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna add some espresso powder. Now this is totally optional, but it enhances the flavor of the chocolate a lot more. You just need to blend it until smooth and then you're gonna add in your chocolate. We are using melted chocolate chips, but you could use a melted chocolate vegan bar or any other chocolate that you have that's vegan. You're just gonna cover that back up and blend again until well combined. After it's well combined, you're just gonna pour it into your pie crust. Just shake it out to level it out a little bit, and if you're like me and you get a little bit on the side, don't worry, it still tastes great. Ideally, you'll let this chill in the fridge for six to 12 hours, but if you are in a rush, you can put it in the freezer. All right, so once your pie has set, it's time to put some other stuff on top of it to elevate it a little bit more and really impress people. watching we hope you love this easy dessert idea make sure you check out the post linked in the description for tips tricks variations and even more have a great week and remember to smile